Oh, yeah. So, uh, we get into the springtime, and I think that the government is going to react by trying to stimulate the economy directly to consumers. And uh, we, are, we have an election year, um, so I would fully expect them to, to try and make it look good right. for that election. Right. Um, on the dog and pony the Saturn Pluto uh, square comes back again in uh, July and in August, and it's going to be joined by Saturn uh, opposing Uranus and squaring Pluto. And the last time that the planets lined up like that was in the 30s. Wow. So um, the economic difficulties will you know, not be going away easily, and I'm afraid that the government will overreact and create a hyperinflationary problem, which will destroy the value of the dollar. And uh, uh, just yesterday, Venezuela devalued its currency by 50% overnight. Wow. So these things are already starting to happen. Well, and yeah, at, at some point later this year, you may very well see a devaluation of the U.S. dollar. Well, um, there's a couple of other things going on, too, probably lots of other things. Um, isn't there a real estate bubble that's about to collapse as well? Well, the real estate bubble already collapsed, and the attempt to reflate it has been totally ineffective. Okay. So that the... There is another leg down in real estate values, which is occurring right now. Okay. Now, the tricky part of it is this, is that once the deflation runs its course, and then we switch over to an inflationary situation again, yeah. then everyone's going to want to scramble towards hard assets because the value of the cash is going to be very questionable. So real estate... It could rapidly improve as far as the numbers are concerned. Right. Um, very quickly um, at, when we have this shift. So, you know, people who are struggling right now to keep their homes that, you know, are worried about longer term, I think that, that you will see an inflationary surge of some sort restore the actual number value the actual value in terms of trading it for something else may not be the same as it was. Mm -hmm. But in terms of servicing the loan, paying on off, and things like that, you will all of a sudden be able to pay it off with cheaper dollars. Mm. So this probably is going to be well into effect by 2011. What about, well, it sounds like the uh, the astrology is lining up towards another kind of uh, a spiral of depression that uh, would indicate a uh, Wall Street collapse. Well, <laughs> um, I'm a trader. I watch these markets like a hawk. I watch okay. events unfolding as well as the the market in real time. And what we have seen lately is that stock market is levitating. <laughs> and it's not going down. Really, um, you know, the natural thing for it to do would be to go down to reflect its grim, you know, uh, prospects. Mm. But, um, you know, they did print up uh, 12 or 14 or $20 trillion <laughs> and put it into the hands of financial people. Yeah. And they're buying up stuff already. All right. Um, now, stocks are, are something that is popular because it has a liquidity. You can get in and out of it quickly. Yeah. Uh, whereas you can't buy real estate and get in and out of it quickly. And it's not even that easy with the gold if you want to hold it physically. It's a pain right. in the butt, actually. You've got to put your money up, and then you have to wait for weeks to get it, and then you're responsible for any price differences that might occur, so you're assuming a risk. And, uh, you know, I'm talking about trying to buy physical gold and silver. Right, right. And um, then if the things got bad enough, you can't eat gold. So, you know, what are you going to do with your Van Goghs and Monets when uh, there are people, you know, clamoring with uh, guns and knives and fire and violence? Mm -hmm. 
Well, um, we, 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 we are going to hope that that will not occur. Yeah. Um, my thought on this is that if we're going to see a violent situation in this country, that will probably be this summer. Okay. For riots and uh, the potential for government uh, repression as in martial law and things mm. of that nature. The Astro in, the, in July and August is that rough. Wow. That we could be seeing that type of thing. Now, let me put it this way. It's not fate. Um, it's a possibility which right. right now is high enough to have a lot of concern about it. Mm -hmm. um, we can diminish that possibility by making other changes. And, you know, there's free will involved here. Mm -hmm. um, the astro is what it is, but we have a choice on how we react to it. Right, right. <clears throat> so, um, you know, once we get through this summer then the, astro uh, the geocentric astrology starts to become much less negative. I'm not going to promise people that things will get great right away. We're just looking at um, um, stopping the, the pain and starting the healing processes. And then 2011, with this acceleration of of the Mayan calendar um, energies, um, you know, that's our opportunity to, you know, even start to recreate this world uh, before the actual shift occurs. There's mm -hmm. no reason why we have to wait. Right, right, right. And 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 we can also focus on improving ourselves um, into that time period too. We're the ones that control our own um, evolutionary. Um, um, stages, you know, in that way. Right. We can step on the gas and we can step on the brakes if we're going too fast. Right. Right. So. And you can have this experience that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that will be widespread before 11, 11, 11. I, I had that experience in 2005. Hmm. Um, you know, it is available if people want to do it. And the funny thing is, is you know, I talk to people about this, and they're, hey, you know, you can do, you can go somewhere where it's legal, and you can do this. And they go, oh, oh no, 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 I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do yeah. that drug. Yeah. Well, what difference does it make? It's not a drug. It's a conscious choice. Right. Um, and it doesn't matter how you get there. Right. Well, what about so, those... Who would argue that that's a shortcut? That uh... well, who says that the shortcut's not the way to go? <laughs> who made up that rule that oh, it has to be the long way? Well, I just had to bring that up as a you know to post you know the the other side of that argument. Right. Oh, I I I hear that all the time. Yeah. But you know, maybe I'm just dumb. But I immediately say, well, who made up that rule? Right. Right. <laughs> You know. Somebody who doesn't like people who do that and get, make, go through the shortcut and come out the other side enlightened. Right, exactly. Just because you <laughs> suffer doing something, that doesn't mean I can't do it by getting high. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you on that one. Uh huh. And 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 one point you know that that we all need to you know look at is that. All of the things that we're doing is intended to make us feel good, to make us high. Right, right. And, you know, all of the uh, achieving in sports and acquiring assets and, you know, having money and all that, that's intended to make us feel good, to make us high. Right. Well, and why do we have to get high that way? Right. Why can't we just be high in our hearts and be satisfied with that? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think it's, a lot of people are afraid of that inner journey and finding out what's really there. Uh-huh. You know, so many people haven't opened their closet doors and uh, are living in major denial. And ego is a difficult thing to let go of if you're just starting that process. It's, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that it thinks it's it's going to die and it's it's frightened of it and it's true it and it has to go so i mean one way or the other we have to face it and work through that stuff and mm -hmm. and well uh, it, um, it, it's 
it's the most interesting of times that we could possibly live. <laughs> and um, it wasn't meant to be easy. No, no kidding. Um, if it was easy, it wouldn't be fun. And if we yeah. knew all the outcomes, it wouldn't be exciting. Right, that's right. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, you know, I'm I'm trying to be encouraging here in spite of the fact that, you know, we do have some grim prospects here, uh, mostly because of the people who won't wake up. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're making it grim. <laughs> yeah. Well, as these energies are ramp up, uh, as you said, um, that, that will create a, an, a possibility for uh, shifts for more and more people, I would think. Well, yeah, and, and, and we're seeing it. I mean... Yeah, it's happening. And, and the places where you have the most adverse uh, conditions, and I believe the United States right now falls into that category, that from a consciousness point of view... This is the toughest place to live oh, in the yeah. world. Um, no kidding. The toughest place to be enlightened. Yep. Um, and, you know, that's friction and that creates strength. And, right. Uh, many years ago I predicted that the United States empire would collapse and that it would be in full collapse right now. And this is back in 1996 when I wow. first started my website that I, that I predicted this. But coming out of that adversity, the United States will become the spiritual center of the world going forward. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so that the byproduct of losing the empire is becoming the next uh, uh, Mecca or uh, Tibet or, you know, holy place. On a much higher level that is not materialistic or... Uh... Uh, controlled and in a living in duality and polarity. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Robert, um, we're just about to run out of time, and well, I could passed, didn't it? I could talk to you for hours on, <laughs> about this stuff, and I know everybody would love it if we could do that. Um, so before we go off, um, would you mention again where your site is and where people can read all your articles and find out more? Okay. Well, first of all, my website is really clamped down hard. Um, um, I got the message uh, that um, I should be uh, keeping under wraps for a while, and that's what I'm doing. But okay. uh, my website's www.astroecon.com. Okay. And um, um, right now I'm kind of posting a very limited amount of information. It doesn't mean that I'm going away. Um, after all, I'm talking to you. <laughs> right. Thank you for and, that, by um, the way. I'm picking my spots now, and I'm trying not to put a lot of stuff in writing, and um, that's where the problems could lie with some of the, the laws that have been passed. This is the stuff that you write, um, even the stuff you've written in the past could be a problem. So. Uh, well, on that but, happy but that note. that danger is this year. Okay, okay. Well, I'm going to be following your uh, your work and your writings, and uh, any time you want to come back and talk some more about all of this, uh, I'd love to have you back because this is really this is the essence of what we're going through, uh -huh. and uh, we need to be talking about this and getting this out there and, and sharing it, and uh, people need to hear it so that they can feel validated and not feel like they're just going crazy and they're the only ones out there, you know, that, right. that have been living with this. Well, so, maybe uh, maybe I can uh, convince my buddy Cliff to uh, come on and we'll do a uh, a three-way uh, conversation. Oh, that'd be wonderful. I'd love to do that. Well, we'll see. Uh, he can be cranky, so I have to pick my spot <laughs> to ask him. <laughs> All right. Well, I always love talking to Cliff. I mean, he's one of the, my favorite guests, So, and you're a great guy. I love talking to you, too. So the two of you together, I think that would be dynamite. Um, well, Robert, I th your think your thank you so much for being on the show, and well, um, uh, and thank everybody for listening. Okay, Lance, you uh, keep doing a great job, and thank you so much. Thank you. All right, and good night, everybody. Stay good tuned night. for the next show, and uh, I'll talk to you soon, Robert. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.